Welcome back to another Keyless Getting Started video. In this video, we're going to learn about access roles and role-based access control. Access roles give companies the ability to limit human or machine access rights, and Achilles offers a very powerful and granular role-based access control system that follows least privileged access principles. You can associate authentication methods with access roles, and you can create as many roles as you want, each with its own set of permissions. There are also subclaims, which are policies for authentication methods that can be defined within a role that gives specific groups or users within those groups authorization to use that role. Subclaims can be something like a group name and email address or some other identifier to limit access to a specific user or number of users for the given authentication method. This adds an extra layer of granularity for true least privileged access with a keyless. So let's go ahead and see how we can give access to one of our authentication methods. If we go ahead into our console, we can see our items and we can see our authentication methods, which we previously created. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and give it an access role because it needs access before it can be able to access anything. So if we go ahead and click new, we'll call this API role one, go ahead and click next. Now we're going to associate the authentication method we want with this role. So we're going to choose API auth one, and here you can add your subclaims. Go ahead and click save next. And now we're going to give it the rules that uh, give the authentication method, the ability to do specific actions with specific types of resources. In this case, we're going to give it access to items, which are generally secrets and keys and other types of information inside of that items tab over there and the access path we're going to give. We'll apply it recursively, and we're going to give create, read, and update permissions. You can add this in there as well. Go ahead and click Save, Next, and here you have some other rules that you can add for adding things like a gateway, access to audit logs, etc. We're just going to go ahead and click Finish. And now we have our API role one, which is specific to our API auth one. Now, what we can do here is also see the rules. So remember, we have access to items and we have read and list and update and create permissions. So now what we can do is go ahead and open up a new console in a new browser. So if I go ahead and open up this incognito browser, go ahead to console.achilles.io. And I'm going to go ahead and log in with that authentication method. So I go down here, find access key, put in my access ID and access key. And when I click sign in, it's going to sign me to sign me into the specific account that I wanted to give access to. Notice that I didn't give any other access to this role for anything else. So all we have is the items and we have the ability to see the dev, DevOps and my first secrets. So if I click in, I can see, for example, this static secret, and I can see the value and all that information. So now let's go ahead and see how this can be done with the CLI. So once I'm in my CLI, what I can do is create a new uh, role, and we're going to call this API role two. So I'll do a keyless create role minus N, giving it a name as an API role two. And it creates our role for us. And once that's done, we can go ahead and set the rules that that role has. So we can do a keyless set role rule. We're going to give it to API role two, and we are going to make it specific to the dev folder. And we're going to give it create, read, update, and we can also add list. Go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to go ahead and give those rules to that role. The next thing we're going to go ahead and do is associate the role with that authentication method. So here we have the Achilles associate role to authentication method command, and it's going to be API role two, which we are going to associate with API auth two or API auth two to API role two. Go ahead and click enter. And we've now successfully uh, associated API auth2 with this specific role. And we can actually go back into our console, the main console, and we can go ahead and refresh, see API role2, see the rules we gave it, 
we can also make it recursive in this case as well. It doesn't really matter for this specific example. And we can do the same thing whereby we can log in as the API role 2 using the CLI. And what we're doing is enabling you to create items or do whatever actions you want to do through the CLI with this access role, with that, with this authentication method. So let's go ahead into our terminal. And what we're going to do is run the command over here for an API key. We're going to run a keyless configure. So if I grab that command, I'll go ahead and run a keyless configure and we'll give this a profile name. We'll call it API auth2. And the profile is a local uh, resource, the local object. So that profile is specific to what you have on your local profiles. And we'll give it the access ID of API auth2. And then we'll go ahead and give it the access key after we hit enter. paste in the key and we now have API auth2 configured as a profile called API auth2. So let's run a simple command where we can check that the uh, API key is working as expected. So if I run something like a keyless list items and hit enter, this is going to be running list items on that, my main profile. It's, for example, prof, minus minus profile default, but without the minus minus profile in the command. But you can see that I have quite a few items, right? So I have the main folder, I have the dev folder, the DevOps folder, etc. Now, if I run the same command, except minus minus profile API auth2, and then hit enter, we're going to see a different item list, which is specific to that account, to that API uh, user access. So notice that it only has access to the dev folder. So we see only dev folder um, secrets. And that's all we see in the account because that's all the account has access to. So that is a quick overview of creating an access role and associating it with your authentication method and running some commands to see how it works. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.